No, hold on. I'm here. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. Spying on the spies? They'll hate that. Tell me more. Sir's uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Jesus Christ. You could be horrified if you want but it saved thousands of lives. Get access to a filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms. So this is Filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail. Unless, of course, Malik has an idea. There. I persuaded Filament's security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. For a perfidious SIRS agent, you're being fairly helpful. It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils, like DeadSec, to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are... Differing schools of thought. the dossiers. Now, I'm leaving if nobody objects. Brilliant. I've got personnel files. Right, so we do a simple CTOS contact analysis and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. I'll have it done before you can say Guantanamo. I'll handle the classified data, thank you very much. It would be so much faster if I worked with you in order to do this. The people in these dossiers are connected, but not necessarily complicit. I have Malik for you. Put him on. We have to meet. There's been a complication. I can't access the files you stole. Come again? The files are locked, and a moment after we got them, I received this. Hello, Richard. 
We see you're trying to find us by looking into our associates. That's a good idea. Hope you don't mind if we borrow it. Who was your masked savior, we wonder? I've sent Bagley the coordinates for a meeting. I hope I don't need to explain why this is a priority. No, don't get up. I need a high-ranking SIRS officer's biometrics, eyes and fingers. What the hell are you... We don't have time for this. Keep your voice down. The data was encrypted. So what? Bagley can brute force it. Not faster than I could, and I've tried. It's hopeless in the time we have. Look, if you don't help me, Zero Day wins. Which means we all die. Fuck me. You need the actual appendages? No. High-res photos will do. The problem is it has to be the acting Home Office liaison. And SIRs will burn their credentials if they're attacked. It's protocol. So you'll have to get them the old-fashioned way. Torture them? Christ, no. Develop a relationship. Get someone close and uh, take the photos covertly. All right. I've done worse. This part of the craft can be... ugly. Send someone who can handle it. Bagley, some assistance please. I suggest you begin your relationship with the SIRS Home Office liaison the way you would with anyone. By meticulously poring over every detail of their life and hunting them down. Go on. The SIRS Home Office Liaison is the bridge between the government and its intelligence service. Their office at Downing Street would be a good place to start your relationship. Fairly obvious what to do then. There's a potential recruit you may want to check out. Pushing your location. SIRS Home Office liaison works here, but I'm not seeing them on any unsecured surveillance. Ah, but their assistance here. Start by hacking them. All right. Spread out! Find the suspect! 
Initiate search. Don't wander too far. I'm hearing gunfire. Download complete. Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure. All units, all units, proceed to alarm location. Acknowledge, over. Email threads indicate the Home Office liaison is a right lush. She spends most of her time down at the Three Hawker Boys. If you want to seduce, sorry, start a relationship with her. I find your face generally appealing. Is that good for you? Ooh, if that's how you treat a one-liner, I shudder to think of what you do with two. Goodbye. Having a bad day, are we? Have a drink. That helps. Oh, I'm in a great mood, actually. It's just that I'm wasting my scant leisure time fending off the advances of a haggard swamp creature. Fuck you! Not even in your wildest dreams, sweetie. I'm still learning the nuances of human interaction, but my analysis indicates that you aren't her type. Yeah. Hi, how are you? That's good, let's go. Acknowledged.
This might be embarrassing, but did you and me match on invite? If we didn't, I'm going to have their CEO killed. Yeah, no, don't do that. I was lying. Ah, uh, careful who you fib to. Someone almost died. Now that would be embarrassing. I should say. Shall we move this conversation somewhere a bit more private? Oh, my. Didn't know you could do that. What other secrets are you hiding? How much do you know about chemtrails? <laughs> so after all that, did you acquire the biometric data? Sure thing. Retinas and fingerprints, plus a face scan just because. Also, hair, skin and fluid samples. At a certain point, I just wanted to see how far I could push it. Well done. What's next? It seems you'll have to maintain the ruse a bit longer. The upload is still going and I have an incoming connection from the liaison. Put her on. Enough crap. Who the hell are you? You working for the Russians? China? Fucking America? Is this more of that roleplay stuff? In that case... North Korea. Oh, do shut up. Upload complete. Malik is on the line. I'm sure he'll be very grateful and polite. This will have to do. We can meet at Westminster Abbey to discuss the results. And I wanted to say... You performed somewhat better than anticipated. Was that your attempt at a compliment? He's disconnected. Oh, for God's sake. I've marked the meeting location on your map. Westminster Abbey, final resting place of noted cousin fucker King Edward I. Oh, is that relevant, Bagley? It is if you're his cousin. Anyway, have a seat. I'll notify Malik you've arrived. I have to walk away. I haven't slept in 76 hours. I, I can't do this. You're just tired. No, I'm afraid. I know who runs Zero Day and I don't think I can beat her. You don't have to. Just give me a name. <sighs> Not asking. All right. I'm trusting you with this. My analysis indicates that Zero Day is led by the current director of SIRS Counterterrorism, Emma Child. Legend has it she's the reason that Gorbachev survived the coup in 91, but more than that, she's my friend. She mentored me through my first field assignment years ago. Well, I hope you said your goodbyes. Wait, wait. There's always a margin of error. If you go after Emma and I'm wrong, You'll have her 
and zero day to contend with. Confirm it's her before you do anything. We'll be careful. Be right. Or we'll both be dead. I hate to agree with a career snoop, but Malik's right. We need to tread carefully here. This is the head of size fucking counterterrorism we're moving against. We're not moving against anyone yet. Emma Child's safe until we know more. Okay, I can live with that. So how do we find her? Baggy, filter those SIRS dossiers we stole from Charles' direct reports and get up on their comms. They'll lead us right to her. Done. Oh, aren't you clever? But we can't just wait around for them to slip up and blab Emma Child's location. We have to make them slip up and call a meeting with her. So we do something big, something old school dead sec. Really scare the shit out of them. Emma Child is the head of SRS Counter-Terror, which coordinates operations with Albion out of the old MI6 building. So, if we were to break in and leave a message that we know will get back to her... I wonder how many people are watching me right now through those cameras. Fucking creepy. MI6 building, one of the most prominent intelligence organizations in the world. But now, thanks to SIRS taking over, the dark heart of every secret scheme and bloody coup in the whole of Europe. So, no huge difference, really. I can handle this, he said, not really feeling it. Bagley, don't scare him. You just have to find the central server room and connect us. We'll do the rest. You've got this.
search. I have this one. Drone, initiate search. That's the case file server there. Connect badly and we'll take care of it. Acknowledged. Quick mission update. But you have to promise not to be mad. Yeah, not falling for it, just tell me. Well, since you didn't promise, I can't give you the details, but suffice to say, there's an absolute piss monsoon of Albion goons heading your way. Holy shit. I'm just glad we're on the same side. Ah, oh, bro! Oh, you better leg it, though. What's we'll bell you when we get some intel. Look at that. Your plan worked. There's more buzz coming from Emma Child's organization than a nest of randy wasps. That was suspiciously fast. Well, I may have sent everyone in Child's inner circle security footage of your little MI6 operation. Just to speed things up a bit. Is that safe? No, not really. But then you're a violent insurgent who runs around in a colorful mask punching mercenaries, stealing top secret intelligence and driving through street cafes. Define safe. <laughs> yeah, all right. Fair enough. What do we do then? A small group is meeting with Emma Child in a parking garage. They've switched off the CCTV cameras, but if you connect me to the building's CTOS hub, I can switch them back on, because I'm very clever. That's the plan, then.
reminder, this is the parking garage where Emma Child is meeting with her inner circle. Malik has asked that you confirm she really is in charge of Zero Day before we do anything. So try and hack the camera system to see if we can get a look at that meeting. How do you normally deal with that, dead set? It's too much of a coincidence. He slips away and our case server gets hit. Richard Malik is behind this. I've got Whitworth assets on standby, Mrs. Child. Malik is dead the moment he surfaces. What do you mean, the moment he surfaces? Are you telling me we have nothing? Yes, ma'am. For lack of a better word, he's vanished. Hasn't been at work, hasn't been at home, hasn't bought anything with a card. Of course he hasn't. He's not a moron. He knows our tools. We can't rely on filament. We have to use our fucking eyes and ears. He may have left London. Perhaps he's hiding out in the country. <laughs> this is why all these excuses smell like horseshit. We do have a supporting theory, Mum. We think Malik's been in contact with DedSec. It could be they're hiding him. He's treating London like enemy territory. He's made contact with the local insurgency and got them working with him. So, here's what we're gonna do. Reallocate all resources to the DedSec file. If we shake that tree long enough, Malik's bound to fall out. Do your fucking jobs. Get out there and kill some terrorists. Bagley, call Malik. He's not answering. Every time. Fuck it, I'm going in. Shit, you're right, go. This might be our only chance.
private chart just opened a secure optic link to the Home Secretary. If you really want to clear your names for the bombings, this may be your chance to gather the evidence. Get close to the car and I can hack in. Plugging you in to EmmaChild.com. Try to drive casually. This is Director Child coding in. Kilo Alpha Kilo 711. Code and voice print confirmed. You're on a secure line to the Home Office, Director. Hold on, Mr. Secretary. I seem to have a communications anomaly. Probably nothing, but let's switch channels to be safe. Well, that's annoying. Stay close and I'll see if I can get them back. Bollocks. Emma Child has escaped. Not helping. I have Malik for you. I'm going underground. I can't risk direct contact. 